Julie here from RV Tips and Bits. Um, today we're going to talk about the OCCC or the Occupant Carrying Cargo Capacity with your motorhome or travel trailer. Um, it's actually pretty easy to do. Um, everybody should really do it to get an idea of exactly where they are on, as far as weight goes when traveling to be safe. This is really important because the room that you actually have for adding people and stuff to your motorhome or travel trailer setup is very limited. Uh, some of them are actually extremely limited and it really is all about safety when you're driving on the road. The problems caused by overloading the RV can be really serious. Overloading causes tire failures, excessive wear to the suspension and frame, and to degrade the handling characteristics of your RV. So it's really important to monitor and be aware of how much you're carrying. First we're going to talk about how to actually get the weight that you are traveling with and then we're going to talk about the definitions of all those stickers that are on the side of your door as far as capacities go. So the first thing you're going to have to do is to set up an account with CatScale or Weigh My Truck and you have to go on the website first to set up that account, put a credit card in, and they'll even give you the quick steps on exactly what you have to do uh, to weigh your truck. But you got to set the account up first. Um, they'll verify your email and then have a form of payment. And then after that, you're going to want to uh, download the apps. You don't necessarily have to download the Cat Scale Locator app if you know where you're going, but you definitely have to download the Way My Truck app because that's how it works if you're doing uh, the app process uh, when you go to the CAT scale itself. Once you've set all that up and you've got your app and your account set up, then you're going to go to look to where, which one do you want to go to. We went to one at a pilot station based on the CAT uh, locator. You're going to want to become familiar with before you get there exactly what you need to do with your motorhome or travel trailer setup as far as how to park it when you get to the scale. When we went, we were pretty much on your own, so um, it's pretty obvious, you know, what the markings are. So become familiar with, okay, i got to put the motor home, if you have a motor home, front tires on the first plate and then the back tires on the second plate. And then, of course, if you're pulling a travel trailer, what does that look like? Where the tires go on the first, second, and then the third plate. Um, they even have it where you're covering a motor home um, and pulling a car or also a fifth wheel. Okay, and then you'll take note when you're parked on the scales, there's a number up at the sign there, and it's the cat locator number. That's what you're going to enter to say where you're at and how they will calculate and send a, a message to do the actual weighing. Um, they're also going to ask you to put in, you know, uh, a number for your vehicle and your trailer. Um, I wasn't sure if I needed both numbers, but they kept asking for both numbers, so I just put a 1 in each one of them. Um, I think it's more for the bigger trucks if they want to identify and they have to turn in an actual formal weight. So on your phone, again, they'll ask for the location number. You just type that in from the board. And then it just takes a few seconds. They end up sending you a screenshot of um, the actual weight of uh, the results. You can go inside the store and they'll also give you a printout if you want to pick up a hard copy. Ours came out to, as you can see, uh, the gross weight, 10,820 pounds with the steering axle, the front axle at 4,060 and the rear axle at 6,760. So let, let's talk about what these definitions mean on the stickers that are in on the side of your door. So the GVWR is actually the weight capacity of the vehicle alone. So the vehicle by itself, say a motorhome, should never exceed the GVWR. The GCWR is if you are pulling a trailer um, with the vehicle, you should never exceed that total, which would include your trailer and your um, the, the vehicle that's doing the towing. So that's the GCWR. The OCCC, which is the one that most people are interested in, is the occupant and cargo carrying capacity. So basically that's what you're adding to your motorhome or trailer um, after you purchase it. And most of them now are including um, where you don't have to add a uh, full tank of gas or the propane. So this would be everything else, people, water, and stuff that you put inside your 
uh, motorhome or travel trailer. The G-A-W-R, you will see that on the stickers too. Do not get this confused where you can add that up and now you have a great new total to play with. This is just per axle, so sometimes you might have more weight on an axle than another. You want to pay attention to that, especially at the CAT scale, because even though you might be under total weight, one of your axles may be overweight as far as the way you've got your stuff set up. So for our Integra Quest 24L, here is the Jayco sticker. Um, in the top left-hand corner you see up there the GVWR. We can have a gross vehicle weight of 11,030 pounds and not to exceed that in total. The other sticker which is put on by the motorhome people is the weight of the actual um, vehicle including a full tank of gas and propane. comes out to 9,978 pounds. How do we calculate the OCCC? Well, they're going to take that GVWR, the gross vehicle weight, which was 11,030, and minus the vehicle uh, when purchased, which included uh, the full tank of gas and propane. Um, so for this consideration, we would just have to worry about the weight of water that we add people, pets, and stuff, since gas and propane is already in uh, their calculations for the vehicle weight. Um, so if you subtract the two, 11,030 minus that 9,000 and change that they had, we have a OCCC of 1,052 pounds that we can add to this motorhome. Things to consider of, uh, for cargo weight, and not to forget, if you're towing, you need to add your tow and hitch setup, but if you are flat towing, um, you don't have to add the vehicle tongue weight because it virtually provides no tongue weight if you're flat towing. Water, if you have any water in your tanks, you should calculate eight, eight pounds per gallon. Solar, don't forget if you added solar after you purchased it, you need to add that weight. You can usually find that weight on the products when you um, purchased them uh, in the receipt. Um, and batteries, did you upgrade? If you went lithium, you're saving uh, quite a bit of weight. And if you added a regular AGM or um, acid uh, batteries, then you're adding a lot of weight. What can you do to reduce weight? Um, well, we found quite a bit, actually. Um, so, like, there's the seat belt brackets. I'll show you a picture after this of um, what is under your dinette area, especially in the newer motorhomes. We don't bring passengers and have them sit in our dinette area in our motorhome. And there were three of these, and they were up close to 30 pounds a piece. So we actually removed them. Um, other things to look at are cushions and bed setup. Some people have the overhead bed, and, and it's pretty heavy up there. Um, if you're not using it, it's just being used for storage. We remove that for, uh, for now, and we can always add it back if we need it, but we just removed it. We actually found some cabinet doors we didn't really need using. Um, one of them had the gauges uh, that I like to look at all the time, and it had a door on it. There was no purpose for that door. Another door was by the bed that had shelves in it that I wanted to use to have easy access when I was in um, the bed without having to open the door all the time. Um, try to use things multi uh, use items. Uh, we have doorsteps that we use as the middle between our seats for our pet when we're traveling, and we put a cushion on it. And then we, when we, we get there, we use the doorstep out front. Um, towels. Towels weigh a lot. I mean, do we really need more than two towels in the motorhome um, if we're just going for a week? You know, clothes, jeans. Jeans are very heavy. Canned foods. It's not a place to store your canned foods. Take what you need on your trips. Uh, tables and poles. There's, been, there's extra tables in there that we can set up that we just don't use, so we remove them. Um, wood, are you carrying firewood? I mean, how much do you want to actually take or are you not going to use it on that trip? Tools, a basic toolbox versus carrying every tool under the sun uh, can make a big difference too. So, you know, basically we just take a scale, we stand on the scale, find out our weight, and then we'll hold something that we're going to add to the motorhome, stand on the scale, and then take the difference in the weight. It's very easy to do as you're loading up the motorhome. I just want to show you a picture of the uh, bracket. So we had three of these under our dinette area, very heavy. And again, not using it, but I'd much rather carry something else than to have to carry these. So it was a good find. So yeah, the OCC is a very important number and it's really important that you're conscious about what you're adding um, and carrying in your motorhome or travel trailer. It's easy to do. Don't be scared to go out and do it. 
Um, they make it really super easy now. So I hope this was informative. Uh, I know some people know it very well, but then there's a lot of people that don't know it. And it's actually really hard to get the information sometimes with the OCCC and the manufacturer. So um, it's good to figure out and feel confident when you're on the road. Okay, enjoy and thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. We have many, many other videos on tips and things that you can uh, do with the motorhome uh, or the travel trailer.